I remember watching the, uh, the Olympics in Mexico City in 1968 thinking, you know, I thought maybe that might be something that I like to do. Once I had placed third, then the dream of becoming an Olympian started to become a reality. The Olympics is not about victory. It's about competition. We walked like we were a military group, you might say, and we had our caps and all that and everything. You could tell us, and it was fun. The single biggest thrill that most Olympic athletes have is the thrill of being able to march as part of the United States team into the opening ceremony stadium and just see the crowd go nuts and, uh, and just feel the electricity that, that comes from that. Uh. You can feel the pressure, the tension, and all of a sudden, someone says to you, okay, the to you, Mark, you've heard that about 2,000 times, right? But this time it's for real. Of all the things I've ever done in my life, it's, it's clearly the most unbelievable experience. No question that what I felt like I was representing the, the people of Nebraska because I was in a very unique position. And here is Francis of America. 15.45. There were 125,000 in that stadium every day. To be able to wear your own country's uniform, you just got a thrill. That's all there is to it. I'm telling you, almost wet your pants, excuse me. <laughs> Being an Olympian, I think, has filled me with a sense of pride throughout my entire life, and I think it leaves you with a sense of being able to do whatever you set your mind to do, because it wasn't easy. And while they're playing the national anthem, the place goes quiet. And what you think about is really how lucky you are. You get a chance to think about, hey, you know, I represent all those folks back home. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the national anthem of the United States of America. Every time I hear the Star Spangled Banner, I mean, I get the vision in my head, my head of us standing on the, on the awards uh, stand watching the flag go up and singing the national anthem. And I remember that part pretty well.